on. And I'm good. I'm going to say here the wonderful program. I'm going to stop the recording. I'm going to test it on the server, see if this thing actually loads. All right. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. So it looks like the stick works. I am uh, cool with that. We have Proxmox 6.3 ISO release one. Um, I'm not gonna do Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Tech Tronics channel. Today, we're gonna be making a bootable USB Proxmox installer. This is a Tech Tronics production. Um, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed to the channel. Like the video if you like the video. If you don't like the video, dislike the video. And if you feel so inclined to, please share with a friend. All right, let's get going. First things first, we have a couple of prerequisites that we need to look at. We need to have a USB stick, which I do have right here. As you can see, and um, we'll put that in the machine sooner or later. But right now, I want to get Rufus. So that's another one of the prerequisites: is uh, we need the latest version of Rufus, and then we need the latest ISO for Proxmox. So the so the stake that I have is eight gigabytes. That should be enough for what we're doing. I'm going to go to Rufus and Rufus uh, down. All right, so we are at the official site for Rufus. It creates beautiful draws the easy way. All right, so it's what we need. I'm going to find the download. I need to download the latest version, Rufus 3.13. I'm going to open it. I click yes. No, it doesn't have to. And that's really it. I mean, we have Rufus ready to go right there. So, we're also going to need the latest version of Proxmox. So downloads. We have a couple of things. What I need is the virtual environment. Let's take a look at that. I'm going to go with the ISO images. And I am going to use the latest. I'm going to go with 631 and see what that's going to do for us. I'm going to use the Osmos BE 6.3 ISO installer updated November 26, 2020. All right, so that's going to download. It's going to take about uh, a couple minutes. We have our ISO. We have our stick plugged in. I think the next thing we want to do is we want to get back to the program and see what we can do. All our prerequisites are met. We're going to proceed with the plan. The plan is to install Rufus on the PC, which we did. We ran Rufus. We're going to follow the program from the top to the bottom to create a bootable USB Proxmox. All right. So, I'm going to do the best I can. All right, so we have the device selected. It sees our device. It's the 8 gigabyte stick. We're going to select the ISO. And as you can see, I have downloaded it today. So I'm going to use that.
I'm going to leave it MBR. All right, since we are dealing with Linux, I am going to leave it as FAT32 default. And I am going to say, is ready to start. This image uses Grub 2.02, blah, blah, blah. Relation files for Grub 2.04. As different versions of Grub may not be compatible with one or another, it is not possible to include them all. Rufus will attempt to locate the version of Grub installation core image that matches the one from your image. Select yes to connect to the internet to attempt to download it. No to use the default version of Rufus. Cancel the abort to operation. The file will be downloaded in the current application directory and will be reused automatically if present. If no match can be found online, then the default version will be used. Okay, so what that basically means, people, is that we have an earlier version of Grub and on, this, on the image, and we have a later image of Grub that Rufus is providing. So, I think, I don't wanna modify this image at all. But let's see, should we, let's, let's let us do this thing on the internet. The image you have selected is ISO hybrid image. This means it can be written either as ISO file copy mode or DD disk image mode. Rupert recommends using ISO image mode so that you always have full access to the drive after writing it. However, if you encounter issues during boot, you could try writing this image again in DD image mode. So I'm going to go with DD image mode as my notes say to go. Warning, all data on device will be destroyed. To continue this operation, click OK. And then let's see. All right, so the process has begun. We're making the stick. So it's not really that hard, ladies and gentlemen. It's just a matter of uh, understanding what is what and how it's going to benefit you or not benefit you. See, let me move this up a little bit so we can all see it. All. All right, so basically, you know, I had to eject the disk. Uh, hopefully, let's see what we have here. All right, and and I'm good. I'm going to say here, the wonderful program, I'm gonna stop the recording. I'm gonna test it on the server, see if this thing actually loads. All right, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. So it looks like the stick works. I am uh, cool with that. We have Proxmox 6.3 ISO release one. Um, I'm not gonna do anything with this right now. I'm actually gonna get out of it and shut it off. But what I did was, you know, just went into boot into it to see that uh, this could be read and that we are successful so that I know that the information I provided you is true and correct. And if you feel as though you benefit from this, feel free to subscribe to the channel, like the video, 
and thank you for watching. Have a great day.